So where is Jesus right now? May peace be upon him. He is alive. He is in heaven. He is with Allah. We believe he is going to come back. Allah says, I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Before Adam Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. As you see, we have a, a, a very interesting topic and the Muslims, they are going to help us today to understand uh, how Muslims see things in the world. Uh, if we ask a Muslim, where is Jesus right now? The answer will be, Jesus right now is in heaven. And if we ask them why, uh, each one of them, he will give you a different answer, as simple as that, you know. Uh, don't expect much from a Muslim to answer because a Muslim himself he do not know uh, a Muslim is a repeater well, in he is not really uh, a learner or somebody he have answers uh, none of them knows even why they are Muslims they don't know even who is their God and we prove it to you every day and every time we come here they don't know what the word Allah means they do not know what the word Suleiman means they do not know what the word uh, Abraham mean they have no idea Islam because Islam is a counterfeit religion therefore everything is a theft and everything have uh, is meaningless so today we are going to ask the question why Jesus is right now in heaven yet Muhammad is in the ground you know when a sheikh he go and he speak loud and clear and he is sure and he say this. So where is Jesus right now? May peace be upon him. He is alive. He is in heaven. He is with Allah. We believe he is going to come back. Allah says. So we believe he is going to come back. Where is Jesus right now? He is in heaven. Where is Muhammad right now? Under our feet. Today we will take calls from both Christians and Muslims. Usually we take only from Muslims, but today is Sunday, so I decided to give some Christians a chance to talk because some of them, they are, you know, upset because we don't give them a chance to call. And actually we did once uh, give them a chance to call, they called. And then second time we say it's Christian, can call, nobody called. So I stopped doing it. Uh, but it's okay, we will, we will try. Let me open my Skype. And remember the topic is why Jesus in heaven and why Muhammad is not. Why Jesus is coming back and why Muhammad is not. So if you are a Muslim, do your best to explain to us. If you are a Christian, well, tell us why you think Jesus is in heaven right now and why he is back. Look, you know, here it looked like, you know, we both of us, we believe in the same uh, return. Uh, but the Muslim, they create their own false fiction reasoning. As an example, Jesus would come to kill a pig. 
look like Jesus have nothing to do except fighting a pig. I mean, this is how silly this stupid religion is. They have a God who is his enemy, is a pig, a lizard, and a dog. Uh, my Skype is open right now. Uh, we have a Muslim calling me names, but this is just from yesterday, maybe. Uh, or maybe today, but very early in the morning. This guy did not sleep. This guy, he was calling me names since very early morning. Let me call him. We're trying to call this Abdul and see if he can tell me why he's calling me names. <clears throat> he's not answering. Give him a chance. All right, look like he just want to call names. But he is not answering. <clears throat> uh, my Skype right now is open. If you are a Christian or a Muslim, you can text me. Just tell me when you call, when you text, you are Christian. Because I don't go by names. Muslim, they use uh, names, they, you know. Uh, you know, they play the Uh Okay. We have a message from somebody from, I don't know from where. He's saying thank you, and he is thanking Amir, uh, our friend Amir from Germany. He is saying he left Islam because he was watching our videos. Okay. Okay. But unfair to Allah to punish the Jews for wandering. Yeah, let us uh, see. Even this is different. And, uh, this is not our topic, but we can show you. Uh, this is a you know this is a guy. Uh, his name, the one he's talking about him in his message. He's saying that uh, there is a, a German. He's a Muslim convert. He was speaking against my book, saying, uh, What is unfair for Allah to punish the Jews by wandering through the desert for 40 years as a result of their refusal to go to war against the giant? It shows that in order for the Jews to be righteous in the eyes of Allah, they need to kill the giants and take the Holy Land. And then only uh, then would Allah like the Jews. The thing is, which shows I read too, the same story can be found in the Bible, the book of Number, where God punished the people for not following his commands. He pointed out that it says in the Quran, the punishment is unfair, which can should uh, be the same in the Bible. But we believe that the God does not make mistakes, never unfair. How do you mean mention? My friend, the answer is very simple. The God of Islam, he is the one, the Muslim, they keep saying, you know, it's Palestine, Palestine, unfair, Palestinian, unfair. So we are talking here. We are responding to the stupidity of those Abdul. If it's fair, then it's fair. If it's unfair, then it's not fair. You don't change your opinion. I'm not talking about the Bible now. I'm talking about their fiction and their lies. If if the Israeli taking the land is unfair, then you should maintain your position and say it's unfair. <laughs> so it was fair then, not fair now. <laughs> so you know, people they are silly, and you, this guy is stupid. Did not get the point. The point is that the Muslim they say unfair. It's not me saying unfair. God, he ordered them. God, he did they do. And actually, our God, he punished them for not following him. And actually, he punished them always for not obeying. So this is not me saying unfair. So the Muslim is the one who say unfair. And then they cry before today. They say, look what the Israeli are doing. <laughs> so I hope I answered you. I'm answering their stupidity and their hypocrisy. 
either it was fair and Allah he gave them the land and the land is their land or it was not fair from the beginning because taking a land of somebody and by the way those Arab there are not the Palestinian they have nothing to do with them all of us we knew that the first time the Arab they came to that land when Omar al-Khattab he went there and you can read go and read the pact of Omar at that time not a single person in that land speak Arabic so where is the Arab you know uh, you, you have to be smart and you have to uh, be vigilant otherwise they can fool you so the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan is beyond imagination it is fair at that time to, you know if I remember once I was talking to a Muslim Sheikh I said to him why it was fair at that time to kill them he says because they are not Muslims look see the hypocrisy so this is not about land this is about Muslims if you are a Muslim, you can take the land of others and nobody can take it back from you. If you are not a Muslim, we can kill you. So it's fair or unfair. The word fair for Muslims is about killing non-Muslims. It's fair. If you want to kill Muslim, it's unfair. So Islam is against human rights and they don't have ethic. The ethic is zero. The ethic change depends who you are talking about. Uh, again, guys, focus with Muslim on the topic. Until now, nobody is really, uh, you know, joining us with the topic. Why Jesus is in heaven and Muhammad is not? A very simple question. We challenge all the Muslims to join us and to tell us why Muhammad not in heaven. Anyone? I am a Muslim. I want to discuss with you. Okay, let's see this Muslim. But this is like look like it's an old text, a little bit, a few hours ago, or maybe. Oh, this is from Friday. Okay. Let's try to call him. He is not online. Any Mohammedan? See, we say Christians, they can join us, nobody join. And when we say only Muslim and Muslim Christians, they complain. Uh, it's impossible, you know, to, to make people happy. It doesn't matter what you do, really. I mean, if God could not make them happy, who, who can make them happy? Nobody. Ex-Muslim can call and ask about a C by a... We have a topic, you know, we don't want to change the topic. If you want to call to speak about the topic, why Jesus in heaven, why Muhammad is not? Yeah, welcome. I don't want to change the topic. As simple as that. Anyone? Any Muslim? Muslims are very knowledgeable about religion as long about their religion as long they speak to somebody he knows nothing about it. The second you speak to somebody he knows Islam very well, the Muslims they change their attitude and they say, I don't know. I don't know. If you go and see this guy, his name is Safaris, who calls me, uh, Safaraz, who called me, uh, you know, just less than 24 hours ago. You see the comment. I mean, the guy, he don't stop making comment and the answer of the scholars and the answer and the refutation. The second you put him in the microphone, he's, a, you know, the poopo is coming. I don't know. To be honest with you, I do not know. And now they do not know. Because you will see in two seconds that all the excuse they give us doesn't make any sense and stupid. 
Why is Jesus in heaven? Can I speak about how so many Muslim commit incest? I met many who married <laughs> to their cousins. Well, according to Muslim, this is not incest, you know, so, uh, 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 you know, this is not really, but incest is in the Quran. Uh, you see, in the Bible, we have a story of the daughters of Lot, who they had sex with their father, but this is not him marrying them. They made him drunk, which means the two girls are doing an evil act. And supposedly the excuse is because there's no men around and they were afraid they will not have a children. Uh, however, the Quran teach insist by saying, if you have a daughter out of adultery, out of marriage, sorry, from adultery, you can have sex with her and you can have sex with her mother because her mother, she is already not a wife and the daughter is not a wife. So as long both of them, they are from sexual relationship, which is not legal in Islam. So therefore you can have sex with the daughters, literally, you know, and actually even Islamic sect, the biggest Islamic sect, it says it clearly, there's no punishment for somebody marrying his mother or his sister or his daughter or his grandmother, even if he knew that they are who they are, which means he knew that she is his grandmother, he knew she is his mother, he knew that she is his sister. And if a Muslim would say this is a lie, I can show you the reference in two seconds. However, this is not our topic. We want to focus on our topic today. I don't know why people, they want to talk about everything except my topic. There is no penalty. <clears throat> in Islam, for marrying your mother. You marry her. Literally, you marry her. And this is the teaching of one of the biggest Islamic Sunni sect. Now the Muslim, they will say, well, it doesn't mean that's legal for him, but there's no penalty. <laughs> as long as he did marry her, he did not sleep with her. Well, why you want to why the penalty will be for? Uh, let us see if I can show you some reference so people will not say Even if you have sex with the goat, even if you have sex, let us see, we have some comment. Uh, hey guys, if you have a question, don't send it to me in Skype. Send it to me in the chat. I mean, this Skype is for people who want to call me. And look like, we you know, we said if you want to, if you are a Christian, text me, text me so I will call you. Text me, so I will call you, not to have a conversation in, in, in Skype. If you have something to say, you can say it in the chat in YouTube. Uh, where is the prophecy in Torah? We have a Muslim, let us call him. Maybe we got a fish. <clears throat> let us see. The funny, the Muslims, they have the courage to send me text message, but they don't have the courage to answer or to answer my Skype call. He's not answering. The only one who want to uh, uh, talk is uh, Safaraz. But this guy, he says, I don't know. If I if I take a call from Safaraz now, he will say to me, I do not know.
let us take suffer us as long as you christians are in, in, in a sleep mood so don't complain and say christian friends don't take our calls here we go we give you a chance zero of you not even a single one text me said i want to call We will call Sephiroth. He is not answering. Let us mute the microphone, uh, the ring, until he answer. Okay, Sephiroth is not answering. Look like nobody want to talk today. I better go and uh, have some coffee and, you know, take care. <laughs> uh, why cannot you get me busted? Why you want me to call? Because you made a... I mean, look at those silly people. They say to me, why you want me to... So why, don't you have a... You, you are the one who want to get us busted. So when we call, you refuse my call. They say, why can't you get me busted with a why you want me to call? Because we want to show everybody, maybe you can get me busted. We will see. Let us call you again. Don't be a coward. And you call yourself a strawberry. What's his name? No, his name is what? Shao uh, Web Ahababu Zazu. Okay. So why you don't dare to call and give me the question? I mean, are you coward to the point you didn't dare even to speak to me? Potato. Uh, let us see. When you say you want me to call, you better to say to me first you are a Muslim or a Christian. So we will know we are calling Christian from the beginning or we are calling uh, a Muslim. Uh, the one who is afraid to, call, to answer, look at this potato. He's saying to me, you're afraid to answer. I'm calling him. I'm calling him, and he, I am the one who's afraid, and he reject my call. I mean, just to show you the stupidity of this religion. I am the one who called him, and he is saying, I am afraid to answer his question. I mean, do you see the stupidity? <laughs> and he refused to answer. <laughs> oh, well, no, no. Stupidity is amazing. Anyway. Okay, let us see. We have somebody want to talk about our topic. Hello? Yes, uh, our sister, go ahead. Hi, CP. I just want to say thank you so much for what you do every day. Um, you know, but I would like to speak a little bit on the topic. I only have like two sentences for this. I just think it simply comes down to Muhammad is a mere mortal and Christian and Christ lives for eternity at the right hand of the father. He is seated at his throne on the right side of the father. But why he is there? What do you think? Why he is there? Uh, because Christ is uh, the son of the God, part of the Holy Trinity. Okay. Um you know, living with the Lord for all eternity. So because of he is divine, he go where divine belong, right? Exactly. This is why Jesus said, you are from, I'm from above, you are from below, right? Exactly. So he go back where he came from. So the Messiah simply, the Bible explained very well, that we have a Lord and he is our Lord, he is our maker. And you are from below, I am from above. And no Muslim can explain why Jesus will say, if he is just a prophet, why he say, I'm from above, you know? I mean, aren't you a human like us? So when Jesus says, and the Muslim, they say to us, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. I mean, what do you want more? So uh, uh, for Jesus is divine, the Messiah, and he is going to live and he is alive forever. And nobody, you know, when we say the Messiah was killed in the cross, this was the flesh. But this is the flesh was a temporary flesh because Jesus was exist, the Messiah was exist before his birth. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Correct, yeah. But, uh, you know, so when the Muslim, they say, if Jesus is God, how you can kill God? What do you think you can answer then? Oh, if how you can kill God? Yeah. Um, because well, God, Jesus is God, right? And you are a Christian. Let's say I'm a Muslim and I'm mm -hmm. like trying to put you in the corner now. 
and uh, okay how Jesus is God and somebody can kill God well God came uh, God sent Jesus to to you God know the redeem Father. us God the Father. yeah God the Father yeah. sent sent Jesus to redeem us and it was part of God's divine plan that um, he knew from the beginning uh, you know that... still I will be a Muslim now I will be stubborn I will say you did not answer me how you can kill God because if he is God how you can kill him what you can say because this is you say it's a plan so God sent him well God you know God the Father he sent him to save the world and uh, you know the Bible says even that Jesus he don't want the crucifixion to be happening right and he said let your will be done right so mm -hmm. So uh, people, they plan to kill him. People, they want to kill him. It's not Jesus coming to kill himself. Jesus did not commit suicide, correct? Correct. Yeah. So still, if a Muslim asks you how you can kill God, how we can answer? Well, he gave up his, his throne and he, you know. Jesus he, said, I, I, yeah. you know, you are you right. He says, nobody can take myself. I lay down myself, right? By myself. Right. So Jesus himself, nobody can kill Jesus if Jesus don't want them to be able to do so. So he said, I lay down myself and nobody can take it. Nobody. And in the same time, if, uh, if Jesus can be not to be accepted to be God for being killed, will Jesus beat all the claims by resurrection? Yes. Because you cannot kill God. Here we go. Jesus is back. <laughs> I shot him, I kill him, and then he come back to me. And I shot him and I kill him, and then he come back to me. So if the claim is that Jesus cannot be God, well, he is, then he's a man. Then a man, he will die. We kill him, he mm -hmm. stay there. So mm -hmm. so the Muslims, them, simply, their question is a question of hypocrisy. They don't notice that they themselves, when they say, you cannot kill God, they are saying that Jesus is God because Jesus in Islam was not killed and nobody was able to kill him, correct? Right. So the same reasoning they use to reject Jesus to be God is the same reasoning should be accepted to accept Jesus as God then. Because if you don't accept that Jesus is God, if he is God, he can be killed. Well, in your religion, Jesus has never been killed and he is now in heaven, so he must be God. Anything you want to add? Else you want to add? No, that that's all. Thank you so much, CP. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Take care. All right. Bye -bye. Take care. See here the hypocrisy. So you know, like Islam is a religion of hypocrisy. It's a it is a religion of a hypocrite God, a hypocrite prophet. You know, have you ever heard of a prophet? He make rules above the rules, which mean he have his own rules, sexual rules, marriage rules, money rules. He's above. All cult leaders they shared one thing. They make a special privilege for their private parts, special privilege for their pocket, special privilege for their family. As an example, when Ali wanted to marry a new wife, a second wife, in the top of the daughter of Muhammad, Muhammad, he said to him, not my daughter. You can do that to my daughter. Here you see how hypocrite this man is. Not my daughter. Isn't it, this is the privilege of every Muslim. He can have four wives. So what, what do you mean, not my daughter? Hypocrite man. Uh, all right, um, we, we don't want a, a silly text and silly comment, I will block you. Let us see here. You are scared of your own book. Well, we call you, we want to talk about my book, let us talk about my book. You see, when a Muslim, he says, uh, he make a claim. And the Muslim, they are very funny people. They don't know their book, and they claim that they knew our book. And the second we call them, let us call him again. Let us call this guy again. Here we go. You see, just to show you how potatoes they are, how coward they are, they only challenge and debate those who do not know. The second we say, and don't talk about monkeys. Yesterday we have Zafaras, and he agreed that monkeys are Muslims. So don't talk about monkeys, my friend. Let us see if.
if you are man enough to answer. Then you can ask me a question. Potatoes. And they say to you, why you call them potatoes? Potatoes. Let me block you. If you are not, you don't even dare to say, speak to me by voice, you know, by a mic. You are just a potato. Uh, let us see here. All right. We will take another person. Hello? Uh, good evening. Hey, my friend, how are you? God bless you. Um, I'm fine. I'm a Christian. All right. So what do you think about our topic? What do you want to share? Yeah, I actually wanted to um, say something different from the topic. I'm so sorry for that. It's about um, Allah's prayer. I was listening to Rob Christian um, yesterday on his live show while when he said uh, Allah prayed. Of course, I know that mm. in the Quran that Allah prayed. My friend, I, I, we want people to focus with us on our topic because this is not, we are not kids. We want people to focus and focus. Changing yeah, topic, to changing my... topic. This is not my interest right now. I mean, we if we are talking about Allah pray, we will talk about Allah praying. Why you want to change? I mean, you, you, you have nothing to say no, about this topic. I'm not changing the topic. I wanted to ask like you should throw more light on what dua really means because okay, uh, no one talked about dua and I understand yet you can I can also make contribution but I just want you to throw light on the word dua salah and then because he said dua is a supplication and that's why I just wanted to get the clarification yeah but what does this have like to do now to with our topic go ahead give me give me my topic when we are done with okay. this one, when we are done with okay. our topic, and I say anyone have any any question, then you guys, you can join us. Okay, I just wanted to ask this. I'm sorry about... No problem. You think so I, do you have I anything to say to... about the topic? Uh, the topic like um, Christ um, restoration, because this is the foundation of our, our Christian doctrine, and I believe if Jesus Christ didn't die and rose from the dead, there will be no Christianity, and there will be no salvation of um, the christian faith the essence he came in form of um, of a man he came in the form of a man was because he wanted to save mankind because the bible declares that the blood of goats and bull could not wash away the sins of man so he had to come himself to become a sacrificial lamb for us but in as much as he came he was also the same person that resurrected himself so I do not think that um, Jesus committed suicide like the many Muslims will think. He didn't commit suicide. The Bible says that he was resurrected from the dead by the glory of the Father, which is the Holy Spirit. So he came, he died, and then he was raised again from the dead. And this is the whole essence of our salvation as a Christian. And that's all I have to just say. All right. Thank you very, very much for your input. Thank you. Take care. Okay, bye -bye. And if you uh, later, after we finish, if somebody have different topic, you can, you know, we say, if you have, we are done with this one, you can call, then you can call. Uh, you know, uh, we need to listen carefully here. You see, uh, when when the Muslim, they say Jesus commits suicide, that's their lie, because they themselves, they knew, even the Quran says that the Jews killed Jesus. So how that can he commit suicide? That is a stupid statement. If the Jews, they say, we killed the Messiah. Suicide is you killing yourself. But Muslims, in order to make a mockery of Christ, they love to make a mockery. Islam is an anti-Christ religion. It is satanic cult. <clears throat> and mockery is the way. That's why you see when a Muslim, he debate a, a Christian, the first thing he do, he do mockery. And that will make him feel like look like he is victorious. And the Muslim, they will think this way. So like when... Uh, Mimi Hijab was debating David Wood. David Wood was so nice, and that was very silly of his side because you, you, you do not, he did not learn until now how to debate Muslims. Mockery is their way. 
mockery. Their God is the God of mockery. The, their God, he made the verses about the uncle of Muhammad making mockery. <laughs> Bully. So, you need to learn how Muslims uh, think and their, how their thinking is in one direction. But always you need to learn how, uh, uh, how to answer them, get them busted from their book. Because if you say to them verses from the Bible, they will say, ha, 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 you know, they're not, they're not even listening. Okay? Uh, uh, so if we go in the Quran, you will see the Jews say clearly, we killed the Messiah. So a Muslim who says Jesus committed suicide, that he's being silly, stupid against his book. But I'm not surprised a Muslim, he makes things against his book. And this is why I find always liberals, like in the West, in America, they are stupid the same as those who, you know, uh, hold ideas without reading what is behind the idea. As an example, there's a woman, she made a picture from Yemen about herself in the hijab and the American Congress. They put it in the, uh, in the Congress because this will stop the hate for the hijab. But they forgot that the same picture is the reason to go and take her to hell because Muhammad, he said, that the one who drew a picture, he will go to hell. <laughs> so this woman, she is defending hijab by making a picture of herself. But Islam is against that anyway. So here you see the stupidity and the ignorance of people. People are the same as insect. You know, insect are a stupid creature. They go by color, or even sometimes they throw themselves in the fire thinking it's light. So a woman, she made a picture. We take the picture, and this is supposed to will stop hate against hijab. Why you, why you will hate hijab? Hijab is a piece of clothes. But hijab is a symbolic of harassment to women, of forcing them. If all the women, they want to wear hijab in the world by their own will, then let it be. But it is an obligation. It's a must. So stupidity is amazing. And always to fight stupidity, you should refute it from the source of stupidity. If you try to use different location, those people are stupid to listen to the location you are listening to. They have their source. Beat them from their source. Do we have anyone? Let us see. We have Safaraz. Let us see Safaraz. What Safaraz will say about why Muhammad not in heaven. Safaraz not answering. Let us mute the ring. All right, he is not answering again. Somebody saying that Christian Prince should know that a lot of Muslims left Islam because if they would do it. And a lot of Muslims, they became proud of Islam because of David Wood. All those who have big channels now, they are big because of David Wood. Mimi Hijab was challenging me, David Wood jump. Sheikh Uthman was challenging me, but he don't dare for sure, both of them. David Wood jump. And what happened? Their channel grows so crazy. What's your business? The guy is talking to me. <laughs> so, if you do good, that's not an excuse to do bad in the same time. You do not know how to debate, obviously. You go there all the way to San Diego and you start talking about philosophy. What about asking a question is very embarrassing. And people, they get upset if I say that you do not know how to debate. Not a single debate. I mean, they don't know how to debate. Number one, rules of debate. Don't have a moderator. A Muslim, he hide behind the moderator. Secondly, open conversation. No time for you, no time for me. Number three, you have to be rude. Because as long as you are not rude, you did not say anything truthful yet.
it got to hurt. What is the point of two people going in the stage to do, uh, you know, uh, fighting, boxing? And they both, uh, or one of them, he didn't want to hurt the other guy. <laughs> so, so he did not know how to debate. It's a fact. He is very good in short videos. He can beat everybody in short videos. He goes straight to the point. He makes very smart statements. He can beat everybody, including me. I cannot make short video like him. But in the debate, bingo, he is not there. And you can tell him that. I mean, I'm not saying that in his back. You can go and tell him. If he calls us right now, I will tell him that too. Uh... So anyway, when we speak uh, about a person he is not doing good in debate, we are not putting him down, you know. He is way better than many Christians sitting at their home, they're doing nothing. They never even open their mouth. They don't even dare to open their mouth. So we're not putting the guy down. We are just trying to fix his way of debating. And uh, he don't listen. He still don't listen. And he will never listen. When you are in a debate, you get the guy busted right away. And after, after we hang up, you go make them videos about answering the guy. So why you, why you went all the way there? Can I call? Yeah, I said Christians and Muslims can call. The our topic is, why Jesus in heaven? Do you need the permission? No, just text me in Skype and I will call you. Text and tell me I'm Christian. I'm not going even to say your name. And never waste your time trying to refute a Muslim from the Bible. It's a waste of time. If the guy don't believe it, why you want to read it? <laughs> I mean, who is, who is the silly here? You can explain the Bible for him for the coming 10 hours. The guy will take a nap. He will say, you are done. Okay, your Bible is corrupt. <laughs> But when you get him busted from his book, what he can do? This is why they don't dare to speak to me. When Mimi Hijab, he said to the Muslim, who you want me to debate? They said, the Christian prince, Christian prince, he make a lot of Muslims. Did he debate me, the coward? He, he was so much intimidated to the point they prepared, cut it, audio, uh, edited videos or audios. He don't dare to debate me. And hang up on him. Did you say that? I was quoting your stupid prophet, Mimi Hijab. That's what I said to him in his face. Shut up, you know, shake up on him. They don't even dare to hear it. No mercy with liars. No mercy with fa fa fabricators. No mercy with people who follow Satan. Who promote Satan. Throw it in their face. Korean Safaraz for the last time. If you don't answer now, I will send him to free shipping and hand it to Allah. Let us see. Look like he is playing games, he will not answer. Uh, yes, Safaraz, how are you? Your camera is on, by the way. Yeah, I told you, sit in the phone so we can see your essence and see your face. All right. L leave it until the day of judgment. Leave what? Okay. Okay, how you know that Jesus is going to arrive? Okay, why? Why? Why Damascus? Like he's from Syria, the guy?
Ah, uh, so Egypt, you know, Israel rejected him, so he would go to Damascus. Why he don't go to Mecca? Why he don't come back down to Mecca? Isn't it this is the holy land of Allah, where the house of Allah? Don't you see there is something stupid and silly there? If the Messiah is coming back, and the most holy place is that is Mecca, according to you Muslims, that's why you kiss the black stone. By the way, do you have a picture? Do you have a picture of you kissing the black stone? Uh huh. He will kill the Antichrist. We will talk about that, by the way. But I'm asking you why he will come back to the. You mentioned Damascus. Why Damascus, not Mecca? Ask us, but we believe. Okay, your voice. Well, your voice was muted by mistake. So uh, let us go back to zero. People did not hear you. Sorry for that. So you said you said to me Jesus will come down where? In the Damascus. Damascus. Why? Because the Imam Mahdi isn't be there. And Mahdi is there in Damascus too. No, he will be there. Oh, he is coming there. Huh? And why Damascus? We don't we don't know, but. It's that location where the Imam Hadi is to be the white mosque. If, if, if look like the whole uh, gang is there, so uh, uh, Imam Ali come on, is coming to Damascus too? No, 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 no. The just the Imam Hadi doesn't come first, and then the, then the Antichrist, and then Jesus will, will, will come. So uh, who is this guy, Imam Mahdi? Imam Mahdi is be our our you know Imam. He's gonna he's he's gonna come to lead us until the Antichrist comes. He will lead you until the Antichrist come. The Jal, the Jal is coming in. Okay. To if this guy is, if this guy Al Mahdi, what Al Mahdi mean? Is it the writer's one? I think so. Uh -huh. And what he will do exactly? What his job? His job is to make the, the Muslims more, you know, righteous and rich and happier. And he just come for a short, short time. He's gonna rule the Muslims, and then the Tajars gonna come, and then he's gonna cause havoc for forty days, and then Isa's gonna come. Okay, so where, Jesus where we come. can find this guy Al Mahdi in the Quran? He's not. He's not in the Quran. He's just in the, Why so is it in the Quran? Allah, He dropped him because he is silly and he's not important. No, there are many people that are not mentioned in the Quran. Many people, many because they are not important. What do you mean they're not important? Well, then mention to me why a person he will not be mentioned if he's important. If I talk now to about to somebody about Islam, I will not mention to you who are you. You are nobody. I will mention Muhammad, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you are not important. You don't even know how to fix your phone, my friend. Your camera is on. So listen, you are not important. You are not mentioned. Jesus is important, is mentioned. So now I'm asking you. If Al Mahdi's story is a true as a part of the religion of Islam, why we cannot find it in the Quran? Hello? He's trying to fix his camera now. <laughs> Are you there? No, your camera is off. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's on. You should worry. It's off. No worry. Are you there? What's wrong with this guy? So far as, are, are you there? Oh, come on, man. Don't waste my time. Yes. Stop, yes. Play, stop playing with your phone. Like you bought this phone since two days ago, and until now, you cannot stop, you know, touching the screen. Yeah. Did you notice that this phone is saying to you, stop touching me? So speak to me now. Why the Mahdi is not mentioned in the Quran? Don't you think this is a fabricated story added later to Islam? It's not a fabricated story. Okay, how Al, how how Al Mahdi is born? Is it true that he is born from this from the thigh of his mother? Thigh of mother? Yeah. Uh, I haven't, I I haven't heard, heard, heard of that. Ah, you never heard. Is it true that Al Mahdi, if he fell down when he was a kid, he fell in his ass, and he never cried, <laughs> and he never fought? Where you get that from? I, I, I'm, Christian, I'm Christian Prince. Where are you from? You, you know nothing. No. You know nothing. I said, that is not important for me. That's not important. How, That's how important. All of this, all of this is something to prove to us 
that Islam is just a fiction. You add stories which is not there. Your, you know, your, your, your Quran itself never mentions such a guy. You are trying simply to get away from the Messiah, you know, trying to find some important uh, characters. Uh, but who is this guy Al-Mahdi and what he will do and where is he? And he is supposedly the 12 Imam, isn't it? The 12, according to some Muslims, or he is number what? What his number is? That's Nobody knows his number. Is it, true? A... is it true that he disappeared in a cave? No, no, no. no. What do you Nobody mean? No, knows. No. Okay. Is, is Al-Mahdi is a person who was alive before and he disappeared? Listen, nobody knows. <laughs> Don't tell when me nobody knows. What's wrong with you? Any kid can go right now and search for Al-Mahdi and he will find that Al-Mahdi was a person who was exist. And the caliphate kidnapped him, killed him, because he became important for many Muslims. And then those followers, they start making fiction that he disappeared, he's coming back, blah, 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 blah. He was born from the thigh of his mother, he is not like us. And he will come back with the Quran of Fatima, because this is the only true Quran. And you are telling me you do not know? That's the bloody uh, Shias. They're flipping crazy, isn't it? Well, I don't, what I don't is the difference that... between the bloody Shia and the bloody Sunni? Both of you, you have no backup for what you say. Okay, I'm asking you, show me show me the name of Al-Mahdi in the Quran. He's not in the Quran. Totally that's that's mean you are the same as the Shia. Don't you Muslim, you know, Muslim Sunni, they add lies? Okay, let me ask you. When the Hadith, and you are a Muslim Sunni, says, when a Muslim Sunni, he prays, Shaitan, he come and take care of from his anus, and he will not stop until he make him fall. Why that is okay for you but the story of al-mahdi which is a stupid story for the shia is not okay i'm not i'm not saying it's stupid story i'm saying that he's he's gonna come how do you know he's going to come where i'm asking you you see the messiah is in the quran uh, abraham in the quran okay if this guy is important why is it in the quran we don't, we don't, we don't know exactly why he's not in the crowd. Okay, let's, let us let us switch now from Al Mahdi because obviously you know you, you mention names you do not know who they are obviously. If I ask you now who is his mother you do not know. Who is the mother of Al Mahdi? Is it true that you Muslim you say some of you says her mother his name her name is Mary? So try you know you are trying to clone a new Jesus. Some of you says her name is Narjis. You don't even know her names. You don't know who is he. You fabricate. One says her name is Narges, the other one says her name is Maryam, the other one says potato, tomato. And what he is born from the thigh, I mean, how, how he is born, why he is born from the thigh? Oh, because al Mahdi will not come out from a vagina. Holy he, you know? Stupid religion, my friend. Let's go now to the Messiah. Why the Messiah is now in heaven and your prophet is under the grave, in the, in the, under the ground? But this is not important if he's not in Quran. As, is, that your as daughter, as... is that your daughter laughing at you? No, these joking around. Uh, okay, because I thought they were laughing at you. They were not laughing at me. Okay, I hope not. You I hope not, because the daughters of Muhammad, they were laughing at Muhammad. <laughs> so why they will not laugh at you? Anyway, continue, continue. So why Jesus in heaven? Why Jesus right now yeah. in heaven and Muhammad is under our feet? The reason why Jesus in heaven, yeah, he got risen to heaven because the Jews rejected him. So they've got another chance to either accept him or uh, get help. You got a point, brother. He was the only I mean, guys, look at this. Look at the genius. Because the Jews rejected him, so Jesus will come back. That's funny. I thought after death, after death, people, the, the Jews who rejected him, they are dead long time ago. So coming back will not make any difference because they are dead. And then he will come back. That, that's mean they will meet him again only on resurrection day. So seeing him after being resurrected, the Quran says that after the point you die, there is no, that's it. You are, there is no forgiveness. There is no, that's it. Judgment day, that's it. Your, your, your time is up and your options is up. So you are making things up as usual. So, so for us, I'm repeating again. Why Jesus is coming back according to your religion? Hello? Yeah, hello, hello. Hello. Uh, the thing is, yeah, the main thing is, yeah, he has, he has got two things to do to rectify Israel and kill the Antichrist. These are the main two things he's, 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 he's coming from. I heard, I heard that according to your religion, the Messiah, he will have a cowboy fight with the pig. Is that true? What was that, mate? 
Huh? What was that? Can you, can you please uh, repeat that again? I heard that the Messiah, when he come back, he and Mr. Pig, they will meet in the middle of Texas, and the pig will have two guns, the Messiah will have one gun, and then the guy who will, like, they will turn their back to each other, and they walk in different direction, and when the guy whistle, the one who shoot first, he is the winner. And according to the story, the one who will do that is the Messiah. Is that correct? No, no way, you may never got that one. Okay, so if I find you the reference, what you would do? <laughs> Here we go. This is the reference in the front of you. I'm not I'm not going to screen because this this camera is foolish. Man. Yeah, well the I don't know you open open YouTube, but just uh, just be sure to mute it so you cannot see. You cannot have double sound. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, do you see it? He will kill the swine. Yeah, yeah. I know about the killing the swine. Uh, what is that? Yeah. What is that? He says that is. He says that he will. He will kill the swine. You. I understand. He will kill the swine. I got that. I got that. Why? Who is this a swine? What's his business? What's the problem? Why your God Allah, his do his enemies are dog and lizard and a swine? What kind of no, God? No. No. What kind of God? Listen. Yeah, yeah. So? Yeah. He is going to kill the swine to show the Christians that it was haram. It was not halal for you people. He's going to show them. He's going to show you. Uh, uh, okay. So the Messiah will kill the swine to show them that it is haram to yes. eat the swine. Okay, but not all the Christians, they eat uh, pork. This is number one. Number two, he is coming back from the behind the seven galaxies to fight with the pig. And which one? If you kill one, did you kill them all? I mean, this is the one swine. Yeah. Who is he? Is he the king of the swine? Like he is, like you know, he's Hercules. No CP. He's gonna kill one pig just to show the Christian. Look, I'm killing a pig that you should that you should not eat it. I have never. Uh, if he kill it. if he kill a pig, we will eat him. If people kill yeah. pigs. You see, it doesn't say he will kill a pig to forbid it. It says he will kill a swine. If we kill a pig, we will say thank you, Jesus. Let us make it a barbecue. No, he's a the cross as well. He's gonna see, he's gonna smash the cross. And well, that's mean. That's mean we will have no electricity because every every column in the street is a cross. Even your house is built by the cross. If you have no cross in your house, you will never have a house. All the structures in the world based on the cross. Do you cross the street? He, no, come on, CB. You know this. Hadith. Abdul, listen, Where? listen. What is the problem? Jesus do not need to kill a, to break a cross to tell the Christians a cross is wrong. Because simply he can just say that, and he do not know need to go and fight little pig. I mean, how silly you Muslims are to say that Jesus he is going to fight with the pig. I think this is symbolic to your prophet. What do you think? Is is not is not is is not stupid. Is just it's just that. Uh... No, no. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm assuming. You can correct me if you wish. I'm assuming that the swine here is your prophet. No, 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 no. Why not? not prophet. You're a prophet. He okay. What a, what a pig he do? Yeah. Describe the the behavior of a pig. Obviously, obviously he's crap, and you know he does all sort of crap. He's he's, he's, un, he's, un, he's un, unclean. The animal is un, unclean. He's unclean. He yeah. jump like in the dirt, right? No, even it's, it's even it's even the Old Testament is unclean animal. Okay, unclean. But your prophet, your prophet is unclean too. Look what your prophet he do. Your prophet he jump with dead dogs, and even pigs don't do that. You know. You've been stupid again. Come on. Well, why I am being stupid? I'm reading your 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 book, my friend. So I think I think when the when your prophet Muhammad was speaking about the swine, he was speaking about himself, because this is what the swine do. Even the swine don't do that. He jump in water, claiming it's full of garbage, dead women, dead dead blood, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, blood from menstruation, dead dogs, and they are pieces already. And the water is stinky, and that he says it's not stinky. This is what the pig he says. If you ask a pig, what are you doing, buddy? 
you say to mm, you know it's not stinky it's pure nothing make the water impure so when you say to me a pig i know i think he's talking about your prophet and we have the proof because i ask you what is special about the pig you say is dirty or your prophet is dirty no, he's in the oh, totally before. Okay, read the hadith. Read the hadith for us and explain to us how clean your prophet is. No, 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 about this one here. What? We're we we talking about why Jesus has has killed. Why Jesus is, is going to kill the pig? Okay, I'm That's asking you. You said to me because he is dirty. That's mean Jesus have to be have to kill Muhammad too because both are dirty. Oh. It's because to show the Christians, I'm going to break the cross to show you lot that you lot was on the wrong Okay, path. He, 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 he will show us that Muhammad is wrong too because he's a pig, according to you. No, CP, come on, man. You, you okay, hold on, hold on. Aren't you the one? Okay, what is the problem with the pig? You said he is dirty, right? No, it's because of, it's because in the Old Testament, yeah. God said, eat pig. And you, Chris, today are Yeah, pig, but you know, in the is... Old Testament, because pigs, they, they eat everything. Not now, now, you know, in farm, you know what they are eating. Pigs, they can eat even dead animals. They will eat even a human. So if you have an animal who eat anything, then you have to be careful about eating this person, or I mean, this uh, this creature, because then you can have a disease. So it was for health reason. In Islam, the pig is forbidden for what reason? Is unclean. Show me in the Quran, it says unclean. Oh, what's that verses? I don't know. Huh? If I, if I, if I knew the verses by heart, I would okay. have known. But what if I show you that the Quran says you can eat pigs? Eh? The Quran says, if I show you, the Quran says you can eat pigs. It it, it just says that only if it's for necessity. Meaning that's that that's mean. Want... That's mean. Pigs are eatable and they are not no, no problem. Doesn't matter if it's no. necessity or not. Can you eat a human? Ne? Eh? No, that's a human, obviously not. No, you can. I can show you the reference that you can eat a human. <laughs> Why are you laughing? A challenge. Do you want to challenge me? CP, we got more important things to talk about. See, the, each time I put you in the corner, you say we have more important. What is your important? I, is your phone. You Listen, phone. Abdul, I you Muslim, you can eat a human. Khaled al Walid, he ate a Muslim. He cooked him. He ate him. And I can show you right now, even a videos in YouTube right now about the the, the, the high school ed, uh, education in Izhar University, uh, in, the, in, the, in the college books, teaching that if a Muslim, he leave Islam, we can eat him without cooking him. If it's a Christian, we have to do barbecue him. Do you want me to show you the video? I'm not, no, I'm not I'm joking. Not I can show you the video. I want to show you the video? No, the other, the other university. Then don't, don't tell me, don't tell me you don't, you eat pigs, you eat a human, you eat everything. So now I'm asking you, how, the, how, how, how the pig is dirty, filthy, and then if you are hungry, you can eat him. It says only if you're dying of hunger. That's the only way you can have it. Doesn't say dying, it says makhmasa. Makhmasa means hungry. Yeah. Secondly, isn't it the Quran says it's lawful for you to eat the food of the, the people of the book? Yes. Okay. But not the pig. Where well, it says pigs. that? It says, I, I make it lawful for you, all their food. Show me where it says, except but the pig. It is not pig, not pig, not pig. Show you me where it says. Show me what it says, except the pig. No, because he, he already knew. He's, he's in the. Quran, like, what do you mean? Uh, uh, that's clear. I mean, if he knew, then he should he should say, except this. He sh he, sh he should not say except pig because it's, it's already in the Quran. They can't eat pigs. So no, why is the Quran did not come in an order. So when you say such a thing, that will be a problem. Is the Quran is not consistent book? Is it? It is consistent. Okay. Let's talk. About so Christ. so uh, uh, one verse says you cannot marry Christian women. Other verse says you can marry Christian women. Is that true? Cough. Yeah, cough. Yeah. So each time you are in the corner, you cough. You know. Listen. Is it true that the Quran in one verse says don't marry non-Muslims, and other verse says today I make the law, the Christian and the Jews women lawful for you? So the Quran is a book of not consistent. The Quran says you can do muta. Did you do muta, uh, safaras? Muta, not muta. That's for the bloody Shias, man. We but, don't do but that. This kind is of in stuff. the Quran, chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Is the Quran is the book of the Shia alone, not the Sunni? Forget muta. 
See, people we've got more important things to think about. See, each about. time we put you in the corner, you say we have more important. So Jesus, Jesus will come back to destroy the destroy the pig, the pig, which is somebody acting like a pig, like Muhammad, no, and no, and no, to and pig. and to destroy muta because Jesus forbid us from doing muta, forbid us from fornication, and you Muslims are following a fornicator and you practice fornication as part of your religion. No, no. No, 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 no. He's going to kill okay. a pig and cross. Can, can a Muslim marry his mother? Look, it's CP. This is not important for me. This, this topic. No, it's, it's important. important. You see, you Muslims are very silly religion. You focus on a poor pig. And by the way, pigs are, if they are dirty as you claim, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, all Muslims, they take insulin, and the insulin is made from pork. In the top of that, all the surgery, when you stitch it up somebody, they use, uh, 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 you know, uh, the stitches is made from uh, pigs, so pigs is saving the life of millions. Muhammad, he killed millions. The Jews don't eat pig. Why? Because the, because why. their book, he forbid them from eating it for a reason. I told you why. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is the truth. We, and we, Jesus we said, and Jesus said, make it clear that it's not what go in your mouth will make you dirty, but what come from your mouth. Do you agree with that? That was that was a hand. Washington, I'm asking you, Jesus, Jesus what? said, what do you think about this comment? When Jesus said, it's not what go and show your mouth, make you dirty. It is what come from your mouth. Read the verses. I'm asking it. you, I'm asking you, what do you think about it? Huh? Listen, listen to my answer, listen to my answer. Huh? The Jews come to him, asking him, asking him by the hand ritual. He said, they were saying to that, uh, Jesus that these people are not, Washing the hands before they eat. This is why Jesus said, "It is not what goes in, or it matters about what goes out." It doesn't out. matter. It do this is goes for everything. No, no, it is not. It was a hand. Okay, it was, it no, doesn't hand. matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He said, "It does not. It does not make you dirty. It's what goes in your." Do you put your hand in your mouth? No, he was. He was saying. Okay, to him, but it does no not problem. Matter. But listen, so it's still it's that it goes for everything because it's not what make you dirty. It's what you eat. It is what you do. What you say. So you're a prophet. Uh, okay, I will go with you now. Uh, yeah. According to Islam, did Allah forbid pigs before Muhammad? Uh, yeah. Who? Who? Huh? Yeah. Before, I want you to be careful now because I'm going to give you a spank. It's going to leave five fingers in your, in your I don't want to say where. So well, listen carefully. Before Muhammad, did Allah ever forbid eating pigs? To Abraham or whoever. It was only given that that law was given to uh, Moses, I'm sure. Ah, it was given to Moses. Guys, did you see? Did you hear it? It was given to Moses. So now, if, if I show you that Muhammad is a scam and it's, it was not, what you will do? Yeah, go on in. Huh? Go on in. Show okay. In. Here we go. And that will get you busted. You and your religion and your Mr. Pig. Chapter 3, verse number 93, it says, All food was lawful for the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for himself. Only. He made it to unlawful to himself. And that is not the pig. So all the food was lawful for the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for himself. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, so it's not yeah. Allah who sent him what is lawful. He decided I'm not going to eat this. So based on this, all food, all food, except what Israel, not Moses. Yeah. Okay, and he forbid himself, not God. No, but God said to him in the Quran. That's false. Read, 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 read. You, re you want to read that interpretation or you will cry then? No, I'm going to cry. But so they God don't tell me, and it doesn't say that, CP. It says in front of you, all food was lawful to the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for himself. So there's no food is not lawful. All food. Well, I need to read the context of that. Read the context. The context. Read the context. I mean, you Muslims are funny. What, uh, by the way, when you say context, are you, are you laughing at yourself? What the verse before it have to do with the verse after it? Nothing. What the verse before it have to do with the verse after it? Nothing. This is a stupid book. This is the Quran, the most silly book ever. You can take a verse from here, add it in different pages. Nobody even would notice. CP, these pigs in here. So now let's go back to zero now. So why Jesus now in heaven and Muhammad is dead? 
I told you before, he has got certain things to do. He got something oh, to oh, do. Man. Okay. Uh, why, Muhammad, he have nothing to do? Let me give you these uh, details. No, no. Why, Muhammad, he have nothing to do? Uh, I mean, you see, if you watch American movie, you will see that the hero is the one who lived to the end. Everybody die. The police die. Criminals die. The guy who hold the phone for the hero die. Everybody die, except the hero. The, you know, the American uh, uh, boy. So, I'm asking you now. Your prophet right. is dead from the beginning of the movie. Jesus <coughs> is alive. Does that mean that he is the hero and Muhammad was just a comparse? Now, I, let me answer, please, without mm. interrupting. Please. Okay, One go. Minute. Let me uh -huh. get a full, full answer, please. Mm. Prophet Muhammad was successful in his mission. Did you say he Prophet got... Muhammad? Oh, you're not even, you know, you're in, interrupting again, CP, every time I speak, interrupt. Because you are Come making on. an insult, you know, the guy he himself, he said, I'm not a prophet. And you are yeah. saying to me, he's a prophet. Ah, well, you Muslims are with, continue, go ahead. Oh, come on. Uh, he was successful. He, he, he got, you know, Arabia, you know, under, under his control. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. That's false. That's false. No, 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 but, no, but let me, let, let me That's answer. false. But, that's but a false. That's false statement. Muhammad he went all the way to Tabuk and he failed. This is Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Tabuk. It's a part of Saudi Arabia. He took all his men. He took more than ten thousand with him, and then other other four thousand joined him. And then he went all the way there and he got busted and he went back. He failed. In the top of that, when he died, all Muslim almost left Islam. So how how that is successful? And then in order to make them uh, come back to Islam, the Caliphate, you know. Uh, 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 Abu Bakr, he waged war, I call it the war of Abu State, and then he killed everybody who refused, and then this is how you Islam continue, otherwise Muhammad he failed, and until now Islam has failed. Let me show you how Islam failed. Who is the one who killed the Caliphate, the Muslims? Who is the one who, is the one who killed Muhammad, the Shia, the Say Aisha and Hafsa? Who is the one who killed the grandsons of Muhammad, the Muslims? Who is the one who killed everybody, Ali, the Muslims? Who is the one who killed Fatima, Muslims? So you Muslims, you say this is success, Imagine if Jesus, he finished his mission, and then all his disciples are killing each other. Is that a success? Please, let me answer. Let I'm me asking answer you. Full, full I'm asking you, isn't it the disciple of Muhammad, if we can call them disciples, the gang, they were killing each other, yes or no? What's that? Is it true that all the gang of Muhammad, including his own family household, they were killing each other, yes or no? Don't kill each other. No, 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 no. no. Did Aisha took an army to kill Ali? I don't, I'll leave the kind of stuff. You don't believe? Don't Who are you? That. It's not up to you. Don't it's not up to you. Aren't you, aren't you. Are you a Muslim Sunni or you are a Muslim uh, BMW? She has, I've, I've, I've got the own... Uh, no, this is, this is Muslim thing. Sunni story. Aisha, she took an army to fight Ali. And we can show you the reference right now. More than 10,000 people get killed because of Aisha. She wanted to kill Ali, and then Ali, he, did, he, he destroyed her army, and then he captured her. Is that true? Yeah, she, she, she took an uh, army, she, but okay. he Okay, so you want to say she was a very bad woman. I understand. Now, let us go. Is it true that Amr al-Khattab is the one who tried to burn the house of, uh, of, of Fatima, and he is the one who caused her death? Oh, no, no, no. I don't believe all this kind of stuff. Do you want me to show you reference? Let me answer my phone. Who is the one who killed the caliphate one by one? All of them they are Muslims. So you see here, Islam is a bad religion. Muhammad did not succeed to make a religion. He succeeded to create a gang. And all of them, they are killing each other for the sake. Do you watch the, for the movie called The Game of the Throne? That's Islam. A conspiracy, a liars, a fraud, people killing each other, putting poison to each other. Slaughtering each yep. other, kidnapping each other. This is your, this is your Muslim. So let's go back to zero. Let us go back Let to zero. You said, you said that Muhammad he have no job to do in the day of judgment. Is that correct? What's that? What's he up? He got his no. He got his uh, message. He got a full message to the people. What is his message? What is his message? For, we all know what message is. What? No, there's no message. message. I challenge you. Show me the message. My word. What is the message? There's no message. One verse says do muta. He says don't do muta. What is the to say to, to give a message? You don't give to a message oppose itself. One the, the verse is one verse says alcohol is great, is amazing. It's a sign from Allah. Is alcohol is amazing, miracle from Allah or not? Alcohol was allowed at one time, but then it got. This is not the question. Focus with me. 
is alcohol is a sign from Allah. It's a miracle. It's amazing. It's a beautiful or it's not. No, no. Uh, at the start, it was okay. Uh, uh, I'm not asking was... you if it was okay or not. Focus with me, Abdul. I'm asking you, is it amazing? It's a beautiful. It is a, a sign from Allah. It's a miracle of Allah. Or it is from the work of shaitan. It's the work of shaitan. So how in chapter 16, verse number 67 says it is a sign from Allah? Well, it might have been from a fall. Huh? It might be for a fall. It was it was it was okay for a fall. But I'm not today, asking you if it was okay or not. And since when it's okay to have fornication? This is stupid. So do Musa allow fornication before Muhammad so Muhammad he allow it? This is stupid, my friend. This is carefully. I'm asking you now. Focus with me. Focus with me. Stop touching your phone, okay? You are molesting your phone. You, you, what's wrong with you? You're acting like Muhammad with a child. Listen. It says here in front of us that alcohol is a great drink. It's a goodly provision. Goodly provision. Who is talking Allah? And it's a sign from Allah for those who have wisdom. So according to your God in this verse, those who drink black label and they are drinking it uh, and they have wisdom. Read it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Read it. Take a black label shot so you can understand the verse better. It's not chapter. The chapter of the bees. I mean, even your religion is a zoo. Bees, spider, elephant. What's wrong with you, Muslims? So, chapter of the bees, verse number 67. You, you asked me a question about the coming of Jesus, and now you change. Yeah, talking about the coming of Jesus because you said he is going to tell us what is forbidden. But as you see, it's a miracle from God. God, he no. God, God, he created the pig. The pig is not exist by himself. He created him for a reason. But you never let me answer why Jesus. Okay, now I'm asking you: Is that alcohol? Don't change the topic. Is alcohol? Just to show you how. Just to show you, you said you said your prophet is a prophet. He's not a prophet. He's stupid. You know, when when yeah. when in his, in his time when he was alive, you know, he 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 loved to drink. When he was dying because he can't drink no more, and people they start fighting and people they make a mockery of this religion. So he said that don't. And he by the way that not a single verse in the Quran says alcohol is forbidden. Do you know that? It says "fajtanibu," which means avoid it. There's not a single verse in the Quran. It says it's forbidden. It says it's Satan's handiwork, obviously. Okay, so why this verse says this is a sign from Allah? It's a sign because it was it was allowed to be drunk at first. That's why. What? It was it was allowed to be drunk. Why because, Allah allowed to be drunk? Because obviously, you know, there was there was there was there was drinking in Israel too at the time of Why Jesus. Why Allah allow all this time people to be drunk? Well, I don't know, but but he gave the final message to Prophet Muhammad to have it complete. Okay, Muhammad, Muhammad in his time, Muslims they were drinking until almost his death, and then he is, he says Ijtanibu. He did not even forbid it. He did forbid it. No, he did not. He, did. he says, Fajtanibu. Ajtanibu mean avoid it. Yeah, avoid it. Okay, it what is the avoid. punishment? What is the punishment in the Quran for drinking alcohol? They were getting, they were getting, uh, I'm sure they're getting uh, whips. Dip, 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 dip. Now I'm asking you, show me what is the punishment of a drinking alcohol in the Quran? There's no punishment. But so how Muhammad, how Muhammad, he have a message, and the message, he have a law, Sharia, Sharia, I mean a law, supposed to, right? But this law is stupid because here it says this is a provision, goodly provision, and it is a sign from Allah. You say to me, this is the handwork of Shaitan. In the front of me, the verse says this is the handwork of Allah. Therefore, Allah and Shaitan is one. No, because all his companions and and the. Yeah, they, I'm asking they... you how the verse says this is the sign for those who knows. What is the sign here? Why Allah making the, the making the alcohol as His own sign? I can make alcohol at home. Does that mean I'm Allah? The sign it says it says in in one verse it says. Uh, alcohol in small quantities is okay, but as a, as a, as a whole is not good. 
Uh, guys, in a small quantity, where it says that? There is one verse where, where it says, if I, if I knew that we talk about this, I would have, I would have got the verse. It uh. says in Quran, Allah says in tiny bits, it is good for you. But okay, thank you very much. If this isn't true, that's mean that alcohol is not forbidden. What is forbidden is, if it's forbidden, is not to be drunk. Well, here we go. We have the, we have the, 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 the Bible says that drunken will not go to heaven. So it is the Bible who forget, for, forbid, and it says it clearly that the drunken will not go to heaven. Quran nowhere it says that drunken people will not go to heaven. Quran the... nowhere, nowhere it says that people who they are homosexual will not go to heaven. Quran nowhere it says fornicators will not go to heaven. Quran says everybody is going to go to heaven. Christian, Jews, homosexual, everybody. Even, you know, yes, last time you spoke to you, you said to me, Allah will judge between goats. So goats are Muslims. You forgot? No, but that's the goats. I'm talking about animals. Stop okay. Animals in this... What do you mean? Not, uh, what? What? Okay. When Allah, he <laughs> sent a donkey, when Allah, he sent his donkey, Al-Burak, from heaven. Is this donkey, yeah. is he like, he, Allah, he, Allah, he rent him? Or the donkey, he live there? It doesn't matter about donkey, if he took his donkey to uh, heaven or not. That doesn't matter. It was That's Al Buraq. Al Buraq was sent down from heaven. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, um, okay. Um, what? Okay, so I'm asking you now where is the donkey coming from if there's no animals in heaven? Well, it could have been created. Okay, that's mean in heaven there is animals. And your God, Allah, he have a donkey, his limousine. It's called Al Buraq. And he's so huge. <laughs> yeah, cough, cough. So don't make things up. In the top of that, you know, if we if we are, uh, look here in front of us, uh, when the Muslim they say that Jesus is coming back to correct what is the problem, that means Jesus is the one, the only one is correct, not Muhammad. Muhammad, they could not correct that. anything. Okay, I'm asking you now, I'm asking you now, where is the correction in the Quran? Where is the correction if, if Muhammad is have a message? Where in the Quran says that fornication is forbidden? The Quran says fornication is halal. The Quran says in chapter 4, verse 24, you can do muta. You said to me, this is from the Shia, but this is a Sunni book. The Quran is a Sunni book, and your prophet, he practiced it, and the Sunni, they practice it. And even there's some hadith says that even the caliphate after the death of Muhammad, they practice it. So when you Muslim, you lie to us, you say that Islam have a message, there is no message. This guy, he said things and he changed his mind in the second day. Let me show you this verse. As long as you don't want to answer this verse because it's embarrassing. Your God is sitting. Take a, take a note. Listen, 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 listen. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true that your prophet? Is it true? Is it true that your prophet, he make a law? He changed his law second day in the morning? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true that your prophet he make a law, he receive a law from God, and then second day in the morning he cancelled the law of God? Is that true? No, 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 no. CP, you let me answer my Chapter two, argument. chapter two, verse one oh six. Read it. CP, you asked me a simple question. What is Jesus is gonna do? I was okay, gonna answer. Okay, uh, uh, This is a connection with Jesus. Jesus coming back to defeat the devil no, and his kingdom. So Jesus is going to come. He will destroy the Kaaba. He will take See, Muhammad, put him in the zoo. So he make example of him in hellfire. And those who don't believe in Jesus, they will be punished severely. I'm asking you in front of you. Is it does it make sense that there is a God? He sent a amazing message. And then he make you forget the message. And then he will make a better message or similar message. Explain this verse so for me so we can die laughing. No, you don't die laughing. Okay, I, answer. I oh, go ahead. I'm listening. We know what Jesus is, 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 is going to do. He's going to kill the Antichrist. Don't change the topic. The okay, yes. Jesus will kill the Antichrist. Muhammad is dead. He can't kill him again. He can't kill, him. He can't kill the guy twice. But he will resurrect him just for fun, maybe, and just uh, to give an example. But listen carefully. The verse in the front of you says that Allah, he sent revelation. And then Allah, he abrogate revelation. And then Allah calls to forget the revelation. And then Allah will bring better revelation. And then Allah, maybe, will bring some of that revelation. What the heck is that? 
CPR. I've got nothing, nothing, nothing to do with this. This is not, not my topic. No, but, this, but is, my, this my, is have to do with everything. Your prophet, he keeps saying lies. He cannot even maintain his lies. He repeat the lie twice. The lies don't match. So he have to come with excuse. Allah caused to forget the revelation. Allah will bring better revelation. Allah will bring some other revelation. So if the revelation coming from one person, there's no way that revelation can be better than revelation. And there's no way that there's a God. He says, say how? And then he make you forget it. And then he says, say meow. And claiming that this is similar. So I'm asking you, what kind of God he sent the revelation? And then he abrogate his revelation right away. The guy in the morning, he wake up, he have a new revelation. He cancel the previous revelation. And then he, after he, and not only that, not only he cause, for, uh, cause you to abrogate, uh, some of them he for, make you forget. Did you forget your name? No, 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 no. So what kind of God he make his prophet forget the revelation? Why? Give me the reason. Why he make him forget the revelation? This is this is not important for me. This, this is important to, to me. It's not important to you because you are a mule. For me, I'm well, not a mule. So I'm asking you, what kind of God he sent the message? And then he said to his prophet, forget about it. I, I, but I just receive it. No, 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 no. What? No, no, no. no Don't no. tell me no, no, Mister. No, no. Listen. Why your God? Why your God? He sent the revelation, and then he caused you to forget. The, let us step, step by step. Let us focus with one. The first one, Allah, he sent revelation in the morning. Then after two hours, he sent you another revelation to abrogate the first revelation. Why? He's not sure? That was his, that was his, that was his, own, uh, that, that was his own choice. Okay, well, but why? Why he abrogate his own decision? He just made the decision where he was wrong? Well, no, no, he's not he's wrong. He just wanted to change So why he abrogated it. a second ago, it was okay. A second ago, uh, a second after, it's not okay. Why is abrogating? You see, I can understand if abrogation happened through centuries, like, you know, from the time of Moses, from, from the time of Moses, there's a huge number of years. From the time of Jesus, from the time of Muhammad, there's a huge number of years. But to say something at night and you wake up in the morning and you abrogate what you said at night, this is stupid. No, it's not stupid. It was on, so what's the point? Choice. Tell me, tell me. I will, I will say to you at night, you cannot eat shish kebab. In the morning, I can make a revelation again. It says you can eat shish kebab. So why afternoon yesterday, I said to you, you cannot eat shish kebab no more. And in the morning, I say the opposite. Give me the answer. That is that is like bloody Israel, like uh, God is saying to him. Keep what the, Israel? This the... is this is about Islam, my friend. What Israel? Is name Israel? This is your prophet. This is about a verse about your prophet, chapter two, verse number one o six. Yeah, I want to abrogate. It. Okay, it's cool. Okay, but you, is it changing second day? Not even a year after. No. Not even ten years after. Second day. Then not nothing wrong with that. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Give me an example of Muhammad abrogating something and he changed it second day. He did not change it. Allah did. Okay, uh, that's mean Allah is not God because Allah wasn't wasn't right. So he decided to fix it. <laughs> he didn't want to fix it. He just wanted to know, change it. That's all he is. Okay, okay, so Okay, thank you for calling, my friend. And no one can fix someone like you. You are brainless. You just uh, take a hike. Let us see if there's another Muslim. What a stupid religion! Jesus coming back to kill the pig. There's no better problems in this earth. There's hungry people, there's starving people, there's prostitution, there's a child abuse, and Jesus coming to kill the pig, brother. Brother, Jesus will kill the pig. Aren't you happy, Jesus, brother? You have a big mission, brother. He will kill the pig. Like the pig is there, and Jesus is coming, and brother, and he will shoot the pig. And that's it. There's victory to Jesus, brother. What a stupid, silly, you know, cult. What a stupid religion. We have a Muslim, he made a comment, I did save it. So later, after we finish with Safaraz, Safaraz, his battery is off, you know. He can't answer anything. Look what this guy is saying. Your Jesus says the Father is a greater than him. <laughs> how can God, how can he be God if he is not equal to him? <laughs> uh, you will never answer this because you have no knowledge. Uh, okay, hold on. That's a wonderful question. Did you just say that my father? Well, this is why he's called father, you idiot. My father is a greater than me. So Jesus, he confirmed that he is the son. That's why he called the son. The father present 
that a person who have high authority and this is why he's called the father so you are silly obviously you do not know what the trinity is and the trinity is using even same words we use for our family the father the son so the father always is the one who is the highest authority but that does not make him an equal as divine but this is about the father is the one who is the source of everything so jesus he is born of the father so how he can deny the father you are say like your prophet but look what you just said jesus confirmed that he is the son of his father and why the father is greater than the messiah because jesus he humbled himself and he took the form of a human being this is why my father is greater than me silly stupid like your prophet go focus in eating pork let us see different abdul Uh, let me talk. I'm a Muslim. He will destroy me. Uh, okay. Um, isn't it uh, this guy? He sent me a message before. He's saying he's a Christian. Now he changed his mind. He says he, he's a Muslim. He will destroy me. Let us see this guy. Look like we have a comedy show. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Are you a Muslim? Hello. Yes, I'm Muslim. Say Shahada. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You are a fraud then. Shahada is Alhamdulillah. Troll. All right. Next. Uh... Let us see. Call him for a crossfire debate. His name is Sheikh Korea Ben Kukararuku. Okay, let me call it Sheikh Korea. Somebody send me an uh, uh, account of a Sheikh in Skype. His name is, uh, is what? Allah knows best what the name is. Let's see if we can get the Sheikh here. Uh, Ramdahan. Okay. This is a sheikh. Let us call the sheikh, guys. This guy, he sent me a name of a sheikh. He said, Can you call him? Oh, my pleasure. Here we go. Barbecue time. Uh, the shake is not online. Allah make him offline. Okay. Well. Uh, it says waiting for Ramadan to accept the invitation. Let us see if he accept the invitation. All right. Uh, we have our sister tomorrow when I talk. I hate this uh, speaker. This is why I mute it, you know, when I call. So it doesn't bother you. And then sometimes I forget the speaker off, you know. Hello? Hello? Yes, Tamara, how are you? Um, well, you said your topic is about, um, about why Jesus is in heaven and Muhammad's not? Yes. Well, I'm not too sure about that. I wanted the same thing too, but I believe that Jesus is just God to me. That's the reason why he's in heaven. I'm not sure. But there was a reason always for things to happen, right? Yes. Well, if Jesus is God, then where, where God, he, where he belong? God, he belong. The place is not, this earth is a creator, correct? Hello? I guess I lost you. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I guess I muted my phone. I'm sorry. Go ah, ahead. You are doing the same as Safaraz <laughs> now, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. 
So you see, this earth is a created, and Jesus, he said that heaven and earth will be demolished, will be destroyed, but my words will not, right? Yeah. So that anything is not eternal, is not his place, for Jesus is eternal. Yeah. And we as a Christians, the Messiah is going to take us to a place which is going to be eternal place for all of us. So the Messiah, everyone goes, remember this one. You can use it yeah. for everything. I use it for everything. This is my own my own sentence. This is my quotation. I'm not quoting anyone. Everyone goes where he belongs. So a fly go to the garbage. The bees, they go to the flower. Correct? Yes, correct. The, the, the human being, he is from dust to dust. They go back where he came from. The Messiah is not from dust. Therefore, he don't go back to dust. This is why you see the stupid Muhammad, when he stole the story from the Bible, he destroyed his religion because he admitted that Jesus is the son of no man. Mm -hmm. Why he is the son of no man? What is the purpose? What is the reason? There is a reason. There is nothing without reason. So Adam is born not. Adam is not son of anyone. Therefore, it's normal. He is just made it from mud. But the Messiah is the word of God who took the form of a, of a man by the, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. So the Messiah is a person. He was exist before his birth. That's why Jesus says, before Abraham, I am. So his existence has nothing to do with his birth date. His exists from before. And therefore, where he was, he was in heaven. So therefore, he is going to be where he belongs, where he's coming from. So when he said, I am from above, you are from below. Simply he's telling us where we end and where he is. As simple as that. Anything else, Tamara? Oh, nothing else. Okay, thank you very much for your call. And don't uh, mute your microphone again. Learn from, I can, I can connect you to Safaraz to teach you how to use your phone, okay? <laughs> All right, take care. <laughs> okay. All right. Do we have any Muslim Sheikh? Let's call this Sheikh again. Maybe we can shake him. Okay. Well, if you have a Sheikh, you would like to join us. We will be happy to take you, you know, if you are a Sheikh. Or a snack. So as you see, the Muslims are very delusional. They don't have a religion. They don't even have a prophet. Who is this prophet? A prophet who will make verses about his private part. Any believing woman, she want to offer herself to the prophet. And this is only for you, Muhammad. What does this have to do with God? Did Allah send Muhammad? To be a messenger, and messengers usually they sacrifice themselves or to give themselves a privilege. What kind of God he gave a privilege, penis privilege, to his choice of men? I would like to be a prophet then. And I will tell my followers, any believing woman, she like to give herself to the Arabian prophet. Please stand forward. Oh, not you. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not you too. No, 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 please. Okay, no. And this is what happened to Muhammad. He made the verse, and then all, excuse my language, all the unpleasant women, uh, you know, I mean, some they are very old, some etc. To the eyes of Muhammad, they are unpleasant. So Muhammad, he have to fix it. He says, oh, okay, you know what? The pro Allah told me, Allah, he just told me, that I can choose whatever I wish, and I can reject whatever I wish. Look at this. Look at this God. So he gave him the first verse, says, any, any believing woman she can give, offer herself to if her. When the ugly dudes, they start stepping forward, Muhammad, he, like, what the heck? I said any believing women, not any believing truck. So he made a verse saying, okay, you know what? Oh, you Muhammad, you can postpone the turn of whom you would have them if your wives and maybe you receive all of you know what you want. What the heck? Muhammad, he wanted the little children to sleep with them, not old, 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 uh, old ladies. They have 10,000 wrinkles in their face. 
So he made the verse and now they start offering themselves because they want to have security. They want to have a free food forever. That's it. Security. Like it's right, a retirement plan. Because Muhammad, he, you know, if, if Muhammad, he if you, nobody can if you after him. That's it. So he had to provide you food forever because he don't want anyone to if you. Even if you die, the Muslim, they will provide you. You are the wife of the Prophet. So the women, they start offering themselves, you know, any, any, any women she, and look at the translation, first translation, it says, he wishes to marry her. <laughs> That's deep. Any believing women, she wishes to marry her. What the heck? Any believing women, she offer herself to the Prophet. And this is only a privilege for you, Muhammad. If you go right now and do a little search about all cult leaders, all of them, they share the same thing. They sleep with their followers. They take their money. They take their women. Number one thing is a sexual advantage. All false leaders, all false teachers. Hmm. Yeah, people don't like to give like because you know human being you have to tell them i don't i don't i don't tell people subscribe i don't tell them give it a like uh, because you know uh, eh, people are here you know for them like you know oh it's funny let us join but they don't care to support us that's true hmm Do we have any Abdul? Any believe in women? She offer herself to offer herself to me. We accept donation as women. Alhamdulillah. Have you ever heard receive? Have you ever received donation as women? And even the book says, if the prophet eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. Immediately. I mean, look how decent this guy is. So why Jesus in heaven? Because he is holy. Why Muhammad is in hell down under our ground? Because he stink. Even their false religion could not deny that our Lord, the living God, the Messiah, is in heaven. Only fool, they follow the dead one. Only fool. We Christian, we are following the living one. His name is holy. His work is holy. His ethic is holy. He is the walking, talking, living word of God. His name is amazing. And no one can describe his holiness. That is the Messiah, a very powerful word. Do we have any Mohammedan? Anyone? Who is a Mohammedan? He likes to convert some Christians to Islam. I like to be a Muslim so I can have four wives. I want to be follower of prophet of Allah and do uh, practice wife beating to be a good Muslim. I am apostate and I'm following from long. I suggest you use Sunnah that one. You can find it in Google to find Hadith. It's more useful. Okay, my friend. And then he says, I have uh, call for five minutes. Okay, for a quick. Okay, let's call this guy. Uh... I mean, this is speaker of the ringtone of Skype. I wish I can change it. It's really annoying. Hello? Hold on. Uh -huh. 
That was fast. Very fast. Okay, let me know when you can call you back. I don't know, you have a problem. You cannot call me, I have to call you. Don't call. Hello? Hello, hi CP. Hey, my friend, how are you? I am fine, thank you. So what do you want uh, to say to us? Yeah, I'm an apostate. I, I'm not an apostate. So hold on, hold on. You left this time, my friend. What's wrong with you? You don't want to have the versions? Uh, no, not really. No. Okay, what about you give them to me? And you leave Islam, okay? Okay, that's fine. Okay, go ahead. Why you left Islam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because I, you know, I follow you from maybe now two or three years now. All right. And uh, I, you know, I discovered many things with you. So, first of all, thank you for all your sharings, your knowledge you share with us. And uh, and me also, I did, you know, I make a deep dive in Islam before that. That's why I'm, I'm now ex-Muslim for You made a di deep dive? Yeah, Did yeah. Did you take I a shower after that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> many showers. <laughs> right. Yeah. So what do you want to say to us, my friend? Go ahead. Yeah, because I have maybe a thousand of questions, but maybe one or two is it. Really. No, because, I, you know, I you always use sunnah.com for yeah. your finding your habits. Hmm. And I, I, I discover uh, maybe it's Salafi. It's a Salafi software, I don't know. All right. But uh, it's sunnah.one. It's used, it's used the same numbers of hadith for Bukhari, for Muslim. It have English and Arabic at uh, the same time? Yeah, yeah. You can try to go to Google and make it. Uh, okay. Another one and well, I see it, actually. It's fast. You're right. Maybe I will start using it. Yeah, but yeah. I want to see how I can make English and... Uh, no, because now no. I, see, I, see, I see Arabic only. Yeah, yeah. It's only, only for uh, Arabic speakers. Uh, you know, because I, I, I know Arabic, you know. Oh, okay. So... Uh, I have a bad liver, but it's easy, you know, for, for, for using. Yeah. And, See, uh, I use I use this uh, sunnah.com because it have English and Arabic at the same time, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that yeah. is more helpful for me. It's yeah, all right. Of course, yeah. But, you know, for finding a pastor, it's give it a number, you could get the number. and. I don't I don't search for hadith by numbers. I search for them because I memorize. Let us say yeah. a hadith yeah. I memorize, maybe let us say 40% stuck in my memory. You know, I do not need to know exactly the whole... But I, if I know, I can, like I would, let us say, uh, five, six words I memorize perfectly of the hadith, and then I will find it right away. Otherwise, uh, it's, it's, it's ex you know, extremely uh, impossible to uh, memorize uh, numbers, you know? We, yeah, 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 because me too, I have a good, such a good memory, but uh, sometimes it's some numbers, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, right, like, okay. Uh, so yeah. anything you want to add to our conversation here? Yeah, I have a question from the Quran. All right. uh, you know, for for our the knowledge of Allah, that Allah, that Allah know the future. I mean, the future of our, our actions, our feelings, because there is a verse in the Quran. Mm. Uh, we can check in the Surah mm. verse ninety-four. Mm. It says, Allah will test you. You know, for li li alam Allah. Yeah, actually, this is a, there is a video by Sheikh Omran. Uh, uh, he speak about it. It says, uh, actually, not that, uh, Sheikh Omran is a different one. Uh, yeah, Liyalam Allah doesn't make sense because how Allah is going to know. But if you remember, in the Quran, there is many verses speaking about Allah do not know the future. How? You remember the verses where it's speaking about 100 of you with patient, they can fight 1,000? Yeah. All right. Then what happened? It says, Al-an, now, Allah, Qad Alima, Allah, you know, Qad Alima yeah, Allah. Yeah. yeah. So now Allah, he he noticed, now Allah, now, Allah lighten your task, now he he knows, now he knows that there is a yeah. weakness. So he gave them an order, okay, wait, when he gave them the order, he did not know that they have weakness, obviously not. So they went to the war, they lost the war, they come back, and it says, Al-ana khafafallahu ankum wa alima. Wa alima. You see it? Wa alima. Yeah. And now he found out that you have a weakness. Oh. That is a stupid statement in the Quran from Muhammad getting his God busted 
because there is no way God he will find out now that you have a weakness if God he knew the future why he will not know and that is a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet because he promised them like actually in the in the story here Muhammad he saw a dream that the number of disbelievers will be way way less you know they went there they found that they are way way more <laughs> yeah so his dream yeah. was false his prophecy was false and then in order to cover himself he says now Allah lighten your task because now he knew now he knows that you have a weakness no? yeah but you know you know I used to debate with adults you know Muslims yeah. and uh, uh, there is some type of Muslims who used to use use these these verses and says that proof is my God is alive. Why? Why? Because if there is if he know your actions, why he will judge you? Ah. Well, this is the good. This is the good question actually. If he knew your action, why he will judge you? But this is not that the question should be more. According to Islam, the action of a Muslim is not their action. As an example, when a Muslim he do jihad, is he the one fighting? No. The Quran says, "Wama wa Allah wa Correct? Yeah. You did not yeah. shoot, you know. You did not shoot, uh, but Allah is the one who shot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. You, but, you know, if you take this on on this diet with the Sunnah, yeah, it's really yeah this is this is about the destiny you kill them not but Allah killed them you know you did not shoot them it's Allah who shot them how because Allah he made destiny for you to do that in the same time we have tons of things actually part of the belief in Islam is to believe in the destiny Al-Qadr khayrahu wa sharra, correct yeah so they cannot deny that so this is not about Allah being alive it's about Allah being stupid because if Allah this destiny to me what I will do then what the point of punishing me for what I did? But, but you know, look, there is an argument. In the Sunnah, there is six pillars of faith. Okay? And in yeah. the Quran, there is no, you have not to believe in this thing. Just in Allah. Malaika. This is all in the Hadith, actually. You know, the angel, he came to yeah, Muhammad, he told him, uh, what is Islam? You know, eh, very silly. Yeah, yeah that's why. Right. That, that's why. Right. You know, there is new, I, I will say not new, but uh, that's like a new movement in Islam. It's not Quran only, not, not Sunni. It's uh, something uh, in between, uh, maybe between uh, like the, you know, the, the Mu'tazila. Mm. They use uh, supposedly their brain, you know, their brain. But it's very difficult to discuss with, with them because they don't believe in old Sunnah. They take only what they arrange it, arrange them. So, uh, and you know also the well, those you know those are not uh, our our uh, concentration because they mean nothing. Yeah. They are not really Muslims, you know. Uh, they are just trying to escape the uh, the immunity of being following this religion. So they try to convince but, themselves for something does not exist. But, uh, but but look, you know the you know the. The verse who say Rubama in the Surah 13, I think, verse yeah. 5. Yeah. Asa, Asa, Asa Rabbuka. It's all over the Quran. You say Asa. No, no, Asa, it's not. Asa, I don't know how they explain it, but they say it's like a probability, but uh, no. Because, uh, you know what it's when, when, when you say uh, Rubama, it's like. Rubama Wara. Yeah. Yeah, you know, maybe. And. Now it, it's talking about the, uh, the hereafter, not in Earth. In Earth, they can say, okay, Earth, uh, it's a game. Allah, that's uh, the evil against to not know your feelings, etc. But in hereafter, how, how we can say maybe? Well, all, the, all, the, all the Quran is full of maybe, Rubbama, Asa, uh, perhaps. And this is not a, a God talking because God, he knew. He do not need to say that. Actually, even when Muhammad he speak about his God forgiveness, he says, uh, uh, May Allah forgive you for your past and the coming sin. So do, do, do Allah in you, do Allah, he, did he make a decision or he is, he, or he do not know? 
if he knew, then he should not say maybe Allah will forgive you. If he don't know, then he is not God. Is he going to forgive him or not? No. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Anyway, sure, my friend, sure. thank you very much for calling. Anything Thanks else you want to say? I will play. No, I will play. Okay. I will play a video forward. clip. I will be I'll play a video clip for you after you finish, uh, so okay. you can hear it and you can see how stupid this religion is. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Thank you, sir. Take care. This is Mufti Ming. This is Mufti Ming, and he's speaking about destiny in Islam. And right away, you will see how Islam does not make any sense. Islam is just a stupid cult. So here we have a person is asking a question about destiny. Like why? What? What is destiny? What? Uh, how? How we Muslims can you know function our belief with this destiny? If Allah decide for me everything, why? You know why He will punish me? You don't know your results of your examination, so you have to come onto earth. The fact that Allah knows it and the fact that Allah has written it does not make you a person who should now give up because if that was the case, then obviously you would be the fool. A man came at the time of Umar ibn Khattab anhu, according to one of the uh, narrations, uh, he, had, he needed to be punished because he stole. So he comes to Umar ibn Khattab عنه, and he uses the same line. He says, Oh Umar, Oh Amir al Mu'mineen, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. This is a quite good argument if you want to look at it. Muslims, take a note. This is your Sheikh saying, This is a quite good argument. If it's written in my destiny that I will be a thief. Which means Allah decided to make me a thief. Why I will be punished for being a thief? Listen to the answer and die laughing. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Ta'ala, written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When it was predestined, my deeds were already written by Allah. Oh Omar, oh Amir al Mu'mineen, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined, my deeds were already written by Allah? Anhu, and he uses the same line. He says, Oh Omar, oh Amir al Mu'mineen, needed to be punished because he stole. He had he needed to be punished because he stole. He had he needed to be punished because he stole. Mm. So he comes to Umar ibn Khattab عنه, and he uses the same line. He says, Oh Umar, oh Amir al Mu'mineen, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Umar ibn Khattab عنه, was one ahead of this man. He says, well, let's punish this man because it was predestined that we were going to punish him as well. Wow. So wow. Wow. Do you see how smart Islam is? So now the, uh, this guy, he did beat Omar with the stupidity of the religion. If it's destiny for me to be a thief, how in the world do you want to punish me for what is destiny? Omar, he says, okay, it's destiny for me to kill you. <laughs> and that is wow. <laughs> that's deep. Yeah, that's deep. That's very deep. <laughs> so according to Islam, you are a Christian because it was destiny. According to Islam, you celebrate Sunday because it was destiny. Allah is the one who mislead the Christian and the Jews from Friday. According to Islam, Allah misled shaitan. Why shaitan is shaitan? The Quran says, when, when you deceived me, Allah, hmm? because you deceived me, I'm going to deceive them. This is, this is in the Quran. Shaitan himself was deceived by Allah. It was a destiny. When Adam, he commits sin. <clears throat> Why he commits sin? We showed you the hadith many times. Because simply, Allah, he made Adam commit sin. It was a destiny. It was a destiny. Adam did not commit sin in Islam. Adam was a victim of Allah's destiny. And Allah, he wrote his destiny, which he had to commit 40 years before his creation. And as you see, this is sahih. So here Musa is asking Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam, he said to him, 
Are you stupid or what? How you playing me? How do you play me? Or action which had written in my fate 40 years before my creation. And according to Muhammad, Adam, he won the argument. So Adam did not commit sin. It was the sin of Allah. Allah made Adam commit sin and Adam have no choice. That's why he's saying to Moses, you cannot blame me for such a thing. It's not my fault. It was a destiny. Can you change your destiny? And he said it clearly, I have to commit a decree for me. It's a decree. As you see, all those references are sahih. It's a decree which I have to commit Islam is a religion of the stupidity. And as you see, Muhammad is saying that the argument of Adam is the correct argument. It's a deed, it's a bad deed, okay, but it was a decree from Allah. It's not my fault. And this is totally against the Bible teaching. God will not judge you for a sin you did not commit. You see, even the Muslims, they say to you, does it make sense in Christianity that a person, his name is the Messiah, he commit no sin, he will pay for your sin? Do you see that hypocrisy? Well, in Christianity, in Christianity, when the Messiah, he says, I pay for your sin, doesn't mean that we Christian, we can go and commit sin. Jesus, he is, because of his love, for the Bible says, for God, he loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. So this is a sacrifice based in love. It's not because it's about just or not just. For he loves us, he decides to save us. But here, where is the love? This is, this is disgusting. God here is playing games with us. He make us commit sin. And then he will be punishing us for a sin he forced us to commit. Actually, there's a hadith. And actually, I think, I think all of you, you know. It says that if you do not commit sin, Allah will bring people who commit sin. Allah will destroy you. And he will bring people who commit sin. Let us see the hadith. Yeah, actually, the, the website our friend here, he gave me in Arabic, it's really fantastic. It's so fast. I like that. But the problem is we, we need the English. Uh, there's no English translation. So look with me here. It says here, the prophet said, by him who is my, the, the hand in my life, which means Allah, uh, Muhammad is swearing by the name of his Allah, his God. So he said, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of, of his existence and he would replace you by people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. So the plan of Allah is simply he needed sinners. He is mentally ill. And we made a video about it. Go watch it. Because he's mentally ill, he cannot survive. He is not happy. He will have depression. He will feel lonely. He needs to see every day people begging down for him. Please forgive us, please. If you don't commit sin, you will not ask for forgiveness. And this is totally different character from the God we knew. God is love. God don't want us to be crying. God don't want us to be unhappy. God, he did not create us to be his slaves. The slave of sins. The Bible says, death is the wage of sin, not the opposite. Here, death is the wage of being good. Because if you are not doing sin, Allah will destroy you. And this is why we see the sick God he give us his about his personality, Aka Muhammad, that he created mankind and genie, which is a very funny creation we cannot find, uh, just to worship. He just created, created them just to worship, not the other thing. And this is the Quran. We created not human and, and, and uh, 
uh, and genie to anything except to worship me. That is no reason. But this worship has to come with begging for forgiveness. So what Allah he do, according to Islam, this is the idea of Islam, Allah will make you commit sin. And then you will feel guilty. And then he scared the hell of you. He says to you, now you are guilty, you will go to hell. Now you have to beg me. Beg me for forgiveness. And as long as you are begging him for forgiveness, that will, will, will fuel the echo, the self-worship of this filthy, stupid, satanic God. And then he will feel good. This is Islam. Christianity is totally the opposite. That's why we say Islam is a foolish religion made by a fool. So if a foolish like Muhammad, if a fool like Muhammad fool you, how foolish are you? Islam cannot take a question for a second. The second you start asking questions, Islam collapses. And look here, uh, Mr. Palestine, he says, compete with one other. Well, that's mean all, everything your prophet, he said, is a lie. Guys, look at this, just to show you how stupid this man is, Muhammad. Thank you, Palestine, for contributing in defeating Islam. Look what Mr. Palestine, he is saying. The Quran says, chapter 5, verse number 48, so compete with one another doing good. To God, you will return and he will inform you, you regarding your differences, okay? But if it's destiny, what compete? I mean, do you see the stupidity? <laughs> if it's a destiny, how you can compete if it's not your choice? Do you see the stupidity? How I can compete, as you see Adam, okay, uh, tell Adam now. Adam, come on Adam, be better, don't do that, don't disobey God, it's what destiny. This is why Islam is a stupid religion. So in one hand he says to you this, in the other hand he says the destiny, you have to believe in it. And as you see the thief, he said to Omar, well if it was destiny for me, you see Omar did not say to him, this is not what destiny, you stupid. He agreed. He said, you know what? It's destiny for me too, to kill you, to punish you. If you go even, read about babies in Islam, babies, children, little infants. According to Muhammad, a baby, he might go to hell. Why? Because it was a destiny. The baby did not commit sin. Even Aisha, she said it clearly. Well, he did not commit sin. He did not even reach the age of sin. So now can we ask the baby to compete? An infant who just died, he will compete with who? Uh, Mr. Furrier is saying, a destiny is uh, uh, known by Allah, but you have a given choice to choose. Give me, give me the proof. I have reference in the from is the opposite. You see how Muslims they lie? You see how Muslims they lie? We show them reference, they give us speeches. I'm showing you reference. A baby infant, he is from a Muslim family. Muhammad, he went to his funeral. Why he might go to hell? Don't give me speeches. Talk is cheap. Destiny, I'm not asking you if destiny is known by Allah or not. This is not the question. Destiny is the decision made by Allah before he created it to do those things. We're not talking about knowing it or not. And by the way, Allah knows nothing. We prove it from the Quran. So when the Hadith says a child, he is an infant. He never reached the age. He's too young to commit sin, to do evil. And this is Sahih. And then Muhammad, he says, Aisha, your adventure, it might be the other way, which we might go to hell. For Allah, when he created people, he created them in the backbone of their fathers. He decide who will go to heaven, who will go to hell. Do you see it? Destiny. 
So this is a baby child who never commits sin. He never reached the age of sin. What the Muslims do to refute us? They give us speeches. We give them reference. Look like your prophet do not know what destiny is, and you Muslims, you know better. Look like your prophet is an idiot of the village, and you Muslim knows Islam better. He never reached the age of committing sin. Do you see it? Muhammad did not say no, he is old enough to commit sin. He agreed. He did not reach the age of sin. But still, he says to her, he's upset. He said, you should not say that. It might be otherwise. So what does this have to do with knowledge? This is about destiny. Allah decide the baby will go to hell or to heaven. So not every baby he is he died, he will go to heaven in Islam because he Allah, he decide for him where he will go when he created him. There's no deeds. What, what, what the bad deed is he did? There's no good deed, there's no bad deed. He's an infant. Correct, guys? This baby infant, he, is, he have no good deed, he have no bad deeds. And he did not choose to die. Like he did not commit suicide, he put a knife in his stomach and he killed himself to say he's guilty. So he is a child, he's a baby, he's an infant, he never reached the age of sin. Yet it might be there to go to heaven, it might be there to go to, have, to hell. So when a Muslim, he says, this is what destiny is, Allah is knowing, this is not about knowing, this is Allah, he wrote destiny for you. Allah wrote for you the direction where you will go. So stop lying to yourself, Abdul. It's an embarrassing. Who is a Muslim when I call me to talk about destiny and prove me wrong? From those who are posting comments. Who is going to get his prophet busted? Adam's sin was a destiny. The child's sin is a destiny. The thief in the video of Omar said a destiny. Or if it is a destiny. Even when you have fornication, it was destiny. Do you know that when you fornicate, you did not choose to fornicate? This is your prophet saying that. Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery, which a man will indulge in, in which he of necessity, do you see necessity? Necessity must commit. Allah, he wrote it for you. You have to do it. So why a person will be punished for bad deeds if it was a necessity to commit and it was a destiny? And they keep posting for you verses contradict what Muhammad said. And this is what we are saying. Muhammad, he said, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find within it a lot of contradiction. Thank you very much. And you know, just to show you how stupid Muhammad is, the one who keeps screaming that you have to believe in destiny to believe in destiny, we find that when Musa, Allah decided to take his soul, he sent him the angel of death. What Musa did? He boxed him. Abu Huraira reported from the Messenger of Allah reported from blah 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 says that it, is, uh, it says here uh, and look here by the way the chapter or the verses of Moses peace be upon him uh -huh. Abu Huraira reported uh, respond to the uh, the angel of death he came to Moses the, pro the prophet Muhammad said the angel of death came to Moses and he said to him respond to the call of Allah by between two brackets, i.e. prepare for death. Moses, peace be upon him, gave him a plow in the eye. And what the heck? Moses did blow the eye of the angel of the... I thought it's a destiny, and when Allah, he decided for you to die, Allah, he said, be is going to be. It turned to be, no. It turned to this be... This video is... It turned to be that it can be the opposite. Uh, let us see... Uh, let us see, actually, I will show you a, a better movie about it, uh, you know. A better movie, hold on. 
because now it's maybe it's not clear for you. The story. Just trying to find you the movie, which is explaining the story here. Ah, here we go. Watch this movie so you can understand the story better, my friend. It comes with details, and the director, uh, he, he did a good job. Hello, Habibis. My name is Musa uh, Moshe. This is my uh, boxing gloves, and this is my story. Abu Huraira reported that Allah Messenger having said that the angel of death came to Musa and he said, Respond to the call of nature, Aka Allah. I e be prepared for death. You see, the Muslim explained to you because you are slow. MashaAllah. Musa's peace be upon him said, he, he did not say, this guy he didn't talk. This is what I like about Musa. You know, like in the movies, you know, like you say, Do you know what you are talking? Do you know you are talking to who? Musa, he don't waste his time right away. He gave the angel a blow at the eye. No talk, no discussion, nothing. Like he doesn't even explain why. I mean, look how embarrassing you are. The angel of death sent by Allah to take the life of Musa, and what Musa do? He beat the hell of you. And here you see, not only the story is so stupid, but this is mean Musa. He can stand against the will of Allah. And what they call fate is a joke because the guy he refused to die now we knew why the jews they are victorious i mean look at this guy he did beat even the angel of allah a jew and you are wondering why the arab all of them and all the muslim cannot win against israel if the angel of death and look what happened hold on the story is getting even better look so he gave him a blow at the eye and uh, the angel of death and he knocked it out a point Point? Like, what the heck? You see, I understand that he did give a blow to the eye of the angel. But to knock it out, that is a different story. How in the world, how powerful this box, man? Brother, who can come with a story like this save Prophet Muhammad? Actually, this story should be told in a different way. So the Prophet... He said to them, The Angel of Death. Came to the Prophet Moses. And he said to him, I will take your life. Moses looks up, did not like it, he's losing his patient, Bruh. what the heck is that? When Moses looked up, and Moses don't look up too much. You have no idea. Musas, look again. The stupid angel did not go leave. It was the last warning. And Musas stood up. Musas stood up. And he looked fire coming from his eyes. Moses, I said to him, Moses, please. Moses is boiling. I said, Moses, listen to me. Moses, not listening. I said, Moses, don't. Moses, 
horses did not listen. After all the advice I gave him, Musa don't listen. He walk one step, two step, three steps, four steps, five steps, six steps. Musa stood up, walk all the steps, and he push the angel on his eye. Oh, sorry. My microphone was was uh, muted. Sorry for that. Yeah, I was saying, uh, if you want to subscribe to our friend, uh, brother Sheikh Umad, uh, you can go to his channel. It's my mistake. You know, I, uh, I was drinking water and I don't want you to hear me drinking water. So I muted the microphone. Anyway, so as you see, this is how silly the stupid this religion is. Nothing there, nothing there is godly. It's just a silly, stupid idea that you are a person who is a created. You are programmed like an insect, you know, like bees. They do what bees do. You do not need to teach the bees the skills. But right away, she is coming from the egg. She is a bee. Do what the bees do. There's no skills. There's no training. There's nothing needed. It's, it's a destiny. It is uh, written for you. You are just uh, 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 like a, a machine, programmed machine. And then this God, he will send you to the junkyard for he wrote your destiny that you will be in the junkyard. That's why we laugh at this religion and we consider it the most evil, stupid cult ever. You know, exist deceiving hundreds of millions of people. So wake up people, as you see, Muhammad is a fool. And if you are a sheikh, if you are a sheikh, and this is an open challenge to all sheikhs, if you dare to debate me, or what you need to do, just text me on Skype. Actually, somebody sent me an account of a sheikh, and we could try to contact him, but look like he is not online. Uh, we already tried to, to, uh, to call him. His name is Ramadahan. Ramadahan. Koraya Kagu. I don't know which country is that. Let's try to call him one more time.
shake and pink. All the shinks, they were pink. Like Mimi Hijab, he were pink. Can you believe it? Pinky. Pinky religion. Yeah. What a shake. At least he's wearing a t shirt. Uh. Do we have any Muslim? Maybe, maybe last call. Do we have any Muslim? Last call. Any Mohammedan? Last call. Who is a proud Muslim from those who are posting text instead of texting? Why you don't call me? Is it from Kenya? No wonderful. I love African people. Sahih al Bukhari. What I would do with it? Why are you keep posting for me a number of a link? Of a number of a. I am a Muslim. We have a Muslim. Hold on. Let us see. Hello? 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 Are you going to talk? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. You are a Muslim, right? Hello? Do you hear me? Hello? Do you hear me? Mute YouTube. Focus in Skype. This guy, he don't hear me. Let us call him again. Are calling him. I truly, truly hate the ring of Skype. It is ugly, annoying, strong. I know you heard him saying hello. I heard him too, but uh, he did not hear me. And now he is not answering. Let us try again. Last time. Answer, answer, I'm calling you. Uh, no, he's not, he's not answering. Hello? Hello? Do you hear me now? Hello? But obviously he is playing games because uh, even if he doesn't hear me, he will say hello from his side. Yeah, let's go. I have time for kids. Uh, okay, let's see if we have any more Abdul left in the bushes. I don't see any Abdul. 
All is gone. They are gone with the wind. Mm. You know, people they send messages asking where we can find the Christian plans. I don't know, people are weird. Uh, we have a, a link for patreon.com in every video. And then you ask where we can find your channel. Go to Patreon. Don't even make a donation. They are, you know, they think if they go to the to Patreon, they will have to make a donation, you know, because they are cheap. Cheapo. Go there. Don't make a donation. Don't even make an account. Just click at the video. The last video I have it. You will know where I am. Where we can find you. So what this link is there in the, in the, it's like somebody putting an address for you and you ask yourself where I'm going to find him. So, you know, very weird. Do we have any brave Muslim who think Islam is a religion? Even uh, Islam is not even a religion. Islam is a shish kebab. It's a collection of hummus. Hummus is delicious. Islam is not. Any Muslim? The only one who call us is the far, the faras, whatever his name. And each time we show him something very, very stupid about his religion, he says, this is not important. This isn't important. Anything is embarrassing is not important. It is important. People change their belief because of those things. All right. So anyway, I hope that we have a good time together today. And feel free to download my videos. As you know, I don't keep my videos in my channel. So you can subscribe to other channels which downloading my videos. And there's many of them, but still they are not my channel. They are just to watch a previous video I made. I don't keep my videos because YouTube target me, as you know. Uh, and uh, for me is to deliver the message to show you how to debate Muslims. Uh, you know, debating Muslims is not the same as debating other people. You have to be firm with knowledge. You have to be very confident. And you have to be fast. That's what the bit is about, actually. If your brain is slow, and it might be, I mean, it's not your fault. You know, the, the bit is a gift. It's not for everybody. So you have to be fast. You have to be a person who can, you know, connect the dots. And you can use what the guy, he just said to you against what he said to you. As simple as that. And this is why the most they fear talking to me. Because I use what they say against them. It's like somebody throwing arrows at your home. And you don't have any arrows yet because your arrows is not, will not function with them. They are immune somehow. They've been told lies about Jesus. So what do you do? You wait until they throw all their arrows and you collect them and you throw them back. And this is what we do. We use the arrow of Islam to destroy Islam. And this is why Muslims, they fear speaking to me. They cannot deny it. They cannot say it's not valid. They cannot say it's corrupted. They cannot say it's not true, for those are the stories written in their books. And actually, they start saying it's not true. You notice that Muslim now, they are trying to change Islam, trying to change everything is embarrassment to Islam, but it's too late. You've been exposed. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Download the video, subscribe, share, and you know, feel free to join us in Patreon in case you care to support. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is a fraud, and we prove it every day. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun?
let me tell you brother at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him, 